Hi there. If you would like to connect MongoDB with Microsoft Power BI, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to let you know how you can connect MongoDB with Microsoft Power BI, how to configure different drivers, and what kind of error you can expect and how to avoid it. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. If you would like to connect MongoDB with Microsoft Power BI, then first you have to install MongoDB and MongoDB SH for Windows. Secondly, you have to download ODBC driver for MongoDB and you have to then also download MongoDB BI connector. Please configure them and then at last you have to configure DSN for MongoDB. So these are the three steps that you have to perform before making a connection between MongoDB and Power BI. So over here, let me first show you how my MongoDB compass looks like. So if I'll click over here, then you can see there is a MongoDB compass. Please click on that. This is going to show you that how you are connecting with your MongoDB. Over here, you can see that it's on my local host. It's not any cloud services. And this is the port it's going to use over here. If I'm going to click over here to the connect, you can see that I have this demo DB. And under that, I have this demo. And you can see all the data is over there. So this is the very first step that you have to complete already. And I assume that you already have your database created and everything is working fine. Now let's move on to the another step where we have to configure DSN with ODBC driver. Here on this page, you can see that this is the ODBC driver. From here, you can download it. And I have downloaded this one, which is a MongoDB connector ODBC 1.4.3 for Windows 64-bit. It's a Microsoft installer that is MSI. Secondly, if you want to download any other MongoDB drivers, then you can download from here. You would get everything. So please download the MSI file and install it on your Windows machine. That's all you have to do. Once you've done that, then you have to configure it. And for the configuration, first you have to come to the search and here you would find ODBC data sources. Over here on this window, we have to configure our system DSN. So what we have to do, we have to come under this system DSN tab and here you can find that I have already configured one, which is MongoDB. But now I'm going to show you what error you can encounter and how you can resolve that error. So let's first try to add it over here. We come over here. You have to select this MongoDB ODBC 1.4.3 ANSI driver. In your case, it can be different based on the versions. So let's click on this start. And here you have to provide a name. In this case, I'm just going to say demo BCP MongoDB. You can give it any name. It hardly matters then you have to come here and you have to provide your TCP or IP server since it's my local installation. So I'm going to say localhost. However, the main important point over here is about the port. So you should know which port to work on. All right. So right now, in order to tell you which port to work on, what we can do, we can go to this files folder. Over here, we would come to my PC. And then let's go to the program files. Once you're in the program files, you have to locate the MongoDB. Under MongoDB, you would find this connector for BI. So before proceeding this, you should also download MongoDB BI connector. Otherwise, this is not going to work. This is going to help you to connect MongoDB database with Power BI. So once you come over here, you would find your folder. You have to go to the bin folder. And over here, you are going to find this Mongo SQLD. So please double click it, open it. Once you are going to open, you would find that this is going to use this port 3307. So this is the your port that you have to configure over here. Keep this window open. Do not close it. So we are going to say 3307. And here you can see test. So you can click on test. And it's going to be successful. That's how you are going to add. But there is also one challenge while working with this. I'm going to let you know soon so that you are not going to make the same mistake while you are connecting. I know there are so many users around the world who are connecting or who are trying to connect, but still they are facing a lot of error. Trust me, I also did so many steps over there and after that I got to know exactly how to work with it. So this is my research that I'm sharing with you. So you will find that, okay, it's successful, now you can connect, so please click OK. And here you can see that demo PCP MongoDB has been configured over here, so click OK. Till now, everything is fine. Now let's open our Power BI. Now we are going to try to connect our MongoDB demo DB database with Power BI. So now we are trying to get data from MongoDB and for that we are going to use ODBC connector. Now click on this ODBC connector, click on connect. Here from the drop down we have to select this demo BCP MongoDB. 
click OK. And now you have to use this Windows credential. If you have database credential, you can use it. But since I have installed by default everything over there for MongoDB, so I'm going to use this one and click Connect. Once you click on Connect, it can connect over there and you will see that there is a window appearing over here. As you can see that it's working fine. There's no problem. You are able to connect, but you won't be able to access our demo DB. And let me show you what happens over here. And as soon as you clicked on this demo, it's going to try to preview, but it won't be able to do that. Here is the error. So this is what you have to remember always when you try to connect your Power BI desktop app with the MongoDB. So this is going to happen because we haven't configured our DSN correctly. And here you can see that unknown database. It cannot figure it out which database to connect using your ODBC connector. So I'm going to cancel it. What you have to do first, you have to go to options and settings and you have to remove this connection. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect it again, no matter what you do. So I'm going to clear this. That means I'm basically deleting these connections from here. That's it. Okay, now we are going to go back to our ODBC driver. So let's open it, run it as admin or local, that hardly matters. And let's go to system DSN. Over here, if you open it, you see that we didn't provide the database over here. So you should provide your database name while you are configuring your MongoDB or DBC driver DSN. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And let me show you another one, which I already did over here. So this is the one here. You can see that I have already demo DB and that's how I'm able to connect. So what I can do over here, I'm going to write my database name over here. So this is my database name and now I have done the same. So let's click OK. Now we are going to go back here again. Let's click on get data. More. And now we are going to select for ODBC connector. Let's search over here. And here's our ODBC connector. Connect it. Now again, I'm going to select the same because I have already updated it. So demo DB for MongoDB, click OK. Through Windows, we are going to connect it. Click on this connect button. And now I'm going to select over here. Again, I'm going to select my database. So demo DB. And clicked on this. And it's going to preview. And you would be able to see the data over here. Then if you would like to transform the data, you can transform. If you just want to load the data, you can load the data. So this is the HR analytics data. And now, which you can see over here, I can load it. As you can see on your screen now, the data has been loaded. On your right hand side, under this fields pane, all the data has been loaded. So let me show you over here too. Under the data pane, this is my table and you can see all the data is over here. This is the same data that you can see over here under this MongoDB that I have uploaded already. All right, guys, in this video, we have learned how to connect Microsoft Power BI with the MongoDB. For that, we have to follow certain prerequisite steps. That means you have to configure certain drivers as well as you should have configured MongoDB. If you have any question and concern, please put your comments in the comment section. And also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.